Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a scarlet macaw. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Below the circle, off to the left, make a small mark to indicate the bottom portion of the body. Pay attention to the placement of this mark in relation to the circle. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower half of the body. This guide should be similar to a big arc. On the top right side, draw a small circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. First make 4 small marks to indicate the sides of the circle, and then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Pay attention to the size of the head circle in relation to the first circle. The edges of the two circles should touch. Inside the head, draw two intersecting lines. These are construction guides that will help you place the facial features later on. The two lines should be similar to a big plus sign inside the head. Connect the head to the body using a long curved line. Pay attention to how this line curves. Draw a short line under the head too. Below the body, on the left side, make a small mark to indicate the length of the folded wing. Pay attention to the position of this mark in relation to the body. Now connect the mark to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the folded wing. This guide should be similar to a big triangle. Far down below the body, make another small mark to indicate the length of the tail. Scarlet macaws have tails that are longer than their bodies, but this tail will be slightly shorter so that it fits on the paper. Now connect the mark to the body using a long vertical line. To the right, draw another long line to finish the guide for the tail. Curve this line slightly. On the lower right side of the body, draw a short curved line as a guide for the foot. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Use the initial construction lines as guides to help you place the eye. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape slightly pointy for the corners of the eye. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw another circle and shade it in for the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle when you shade the pupil. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the eyelids. Draw these lines close to the shape of the eye. On the lower right side of the head, lightly sketch a curved line for the first part of the beak. At the top, start the line on the edge of the circle, and then draw it farther apart from the circle at the bottom. Now angle the line up and inside the head to create more of the beak. Make this line wavy. The top of this line should be very close to where the construction guides intersect. Now close off the shape of the beak at the top using a curved line. Draw the top of the beak along the path of the horizontal construction guide. Make the line for the top part of the beak wavy. 
When you get the shape of the beak right, darken the lines. Pay attention to the distance between the pointy beak and the bottom edge of the head circle. The beak should be wide at the top and thin and pointy at the bottom. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the top edge for a feathery texture. To the left, draw a curved line for the bottom half of the beak. Draw this line along the bottom edge of the head circle. Draw a sloping line on the left side to close off the shape of the bottom part of the beak. Pay attention to how far to the left the bottom of the beak extends. Now lightly sketch a long curved line around the eye. This line is the separation between the feathers and the bare skin on the face. The left side of this line should be very close to the left edge of the initial head circle. When you get this shape right, darken the line. Use a series of short strokes as you darken this line for a feathery texture. Extend the bottom part of the line under the beak. Now use the remaining shapes as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Use short strokes as you darken the head for a feathery texture. Above the beak, extend the line farther to the right to make the head longer. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Now draw a short wavy line on the top right side of the body for the first part of the folded wing. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Use the big shapes in the middle as guides to draw the rest of the folded wing. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the folded wing. Use wavier lines as you darken the shapes to create texture. At the bottom, split the shape into two to create a couple of feathers. The feathers should resemble two small arcs. On the left side, curve the line inside the body. Darken the left side of the guides to finish the shape of the body. Inside the folded wing, draw a series of curved lines for a row of feathers. Draw these feathers along the edge of the initial arc. These lines should be similar to the letter J. Draw a few sloping lines on the tip of the folded wing for more feathers. Draw more short curved lines along the top part of the folded wing for more feathers. Draw these feathers along the bottom edge of the first circle. Now use the long thin shape at the bottom as a guide to draw the tail. Darken the initial shape but make it slightly thinner on the right side. Add a curved line on the right side for a feather. Draw a long vertical line inside the shape to split the tail feathers. Draw a shorter vertical line on the left side too for another feather. Use the short curved line on the right side as a guide to draw the foot. Lightly sketch the shape of the foot around the guideline. Use wavy lines to indicate the joints and creases. Curve the shape downward to create the toe. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. On the tip of the toe, draw a small triangular shape for the nail. To the right, draw a curved line for the visible part of the other toe. 
Now draw a few sloping lines under the feet to give the macaw a branch to perch on. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Draw jagged lines at the bottom for the end of the branch. Add a few lines inside the shape for the texture of the bark. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. First, block out the base colors of the feathers throughout the body. Color lightly at first and gradually build up to darker colors. Use red for the top and bottom sections and yellow and blue for the middle. For the red section, blend different shades of red together. Use colors like orange, red-orange, dark red, and even brown. Slowly and gradually blend the colors together. Use darker shades of red like brown to create shadows and a feathery texture. Color the middle section using different shades of yellow too. Use yellow-orange to define a few feathers on the wing. Slowly and gradually blend the yellow colors together. Use different shades of blue for the section in the middle. Blend colors like light blue, navy blue, and even purple. Use dark shades of blue like navy blue or purple to create shadows. Use light brown for the top part of the beak and black for the bottom. Color the foot gray. Add a bit of light brown to the bare skin on the head to create wrinkles. Use different shades of brown to color the branch. For a simpler drawing, you can use single colors instead of blending multiple colors together. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the Scarlet Macaw. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit HowToDrawAnimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how and then the number 2, then DrawAnimals.com. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.